Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ajay Prajapati. I am back with the Pi Spark interview question series. Okay, so here is a question saying that we have ID, name, subject, and subject marks for for a particular student, right? And you can see that subjects are into a list of array as well as marks also are in the list of array. So actually, what's happening here? Math is, uh, I mean. Uh, for this allies uh, you know his marks in math is 85 in science in is a 90 and in english it is 70 like likewise you can also you know uh, check out uh, check check the other rows too right now what i need to do or what we need to do is that we need to create we need to flatten this uh, data frame in such a way that we should have like one alice math and his mark 85 then we have science and his mark and english and uh, english for 78 right that we have to do it now whenever we get the question like array and which we have to flatten it so we usually use explode okay that is correct right 100 percent that is correct that we have to use it but in this case what we have to do we have a we have two columns for two columns we have to use explode now if i go here okay if i go here and you know i i already uh, ran this so you will see that you will see that we are getting a lot of duplicates see for math we are getting 85 which is correct but again for math it is saying 90 again for math it is saying 78 so what it ha what it has done is that first is it explode the subject uh, column and later once it is done then it again explode the subject mark which is wrong you know which is wrong right right now we are saying we are getting 27 rows why for one it is saying 3 3 into 9 and then 9 into 3 okay this is wrong so what we have to do in such a way when we have to map when we have to map when we have to map uh, you know uh, like two columns or it it could be three columns also it could be four columns also right in that case what i will be doing is i will be writing a code df is equal to one dot df okay i i'm i'm gonna create a new column which will be like subjects underscore full and here i'm gonna use a function called array underscore zip in this case what i will do i will uh, you know take here two columns which i want right now just close this and what i will do i will do this or maybe i can also do uh, why it is saying wrong array zip is there right oh it's array zip sorry my bad now you you will see that now i am getting the subject full co uh, column as math 85 science whatever number we have it right science 90 english 78 like like that we are doing we are getting now so now again i will create a new data frame not new data frame the same data frame i'm going to use and here i will use what i want id right i want name i don't want this subject and this subject marks correct so what i'm going to do i am going to overwrite it so uh, so since we have this column now i will use this column and call of this column i am going to use and in that what i want i want ma okay uh, just a minute let me do comment and instead let me do here display display of df underscore one Hmm. Now you can see we are getting here subjects, right? Subjects, subject marks, subjects, subject marks, like this. So what I will write here, I will write dot subjects, and I will give a name alias subjects. Let's run this and we'll see whether it's running or not running. Maybe I did some mistake yep it is running fine right correct and in 
Okay. Once it is done, I did one mistake again. Remove all these things and now I will do explode. Okay. In this case, I will do explode. Now, if I do explode here, then you will see it is getting the marks like this. Now, we have only three rows for each uh, user or for each student, right? There should be only nine rows now. Now, once it is done and it is saying as call, so let me give a new name alias. Uh, let it be subject ma subject uh, subjects underscore full only, correct? And Again, I will do the same thing. Select of ID name and then what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this dot subjects. Now, if I run this, you will see I'm getting subjects here and comma call of subjects underscore full dot subject marks. Make sense, right? Now we can see the clear output. Also, I have already created this course which has around 47 interview questions okay, and uh, notebooks as well as uh, the input output notebooks are available. If you want, you can check it out this course. I will give the link in the description box and you can use July and 1 till 4th of August to get 50% discount on this course. Right? I hope you like it. If you like, please do share with your friends so that it will be useful for everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll meet you in the next lecture.